I'm here with Jennifer Maldonado, the manager of support for Activision. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I have to ask, did you take part in any of the Tony Hawk soundtrack decisions? Because that is such a good <laughs> soundtrack. Well, I'd like to say yes then. I wasn't quite sure which way that question was going to go, <laughs> so I was still trying to decide what answer I should give you. Uh, but honestly, no. <laughs> well, great work anyway. Well, thank you. I do actually have two boys who played so much Tony Hawk that one of them swears to me he can navigate San Francisco, including Embarcadero, solely on his memory of skating those maps. So. That's pretty impressive <laughs> and has a soundtrack to go, so right? perfect. <laughs> so how did you enjoy the morning? We are at the Future of Esports in Nevada Summit. So was that a kind of a cool experience for you? It was super interesting. I'm really on the periphery. Um, my role at Activision is I manage our support insights and our training team, which is in the player support organization. Um, but I became acquainted with some of the organizers and decided to learn a little bit more about what this is about. So maybe I can um, liaise with folks at Activision so we could have a seat at the table. Um, so it was a really interesting experience, definitely, to understand the complexity of um, this whole movement and the various perspectives that all need to be represented and cooperate together. Absolutely. So, side topic. Do you get a lot of questions about being a woman in what's considered a male-dominated field? It's interesting. I get questions from former coworkers who ask me why I left the fields I did to go to Activision, which was very random. I actually just happened to get one of those LinkedIn, so keep your LinkedIn profiles updated, <laughs> one of those LinkedIn recruiting requests asking me to come interview for a position. And uh, I made the leap, and my two boys were very excited about it, but I did not realize the cultural change that I was in for. Um, it definitely is a very different environment. You need to sometimes adjust your working styles. Um, you need to sometimes have a thick skin, not personalize or internalize things. Uh, I can remember one time I was telling my manager that I had been invited to a, a dinner over by our headquarters in Santa Monica for women in leadership at Activision, and he was ribbing me saying, like, well, did you guys need a reservation for that? <laughs> you know, did all seven of you fit in the restaurant? <laughs> but the ranks are growing, and there's actually a lot of effort towards diversity now. Um, we have lean-in groups that have been established with women in headquarters, and there's uh, a lot of focus on making the environment um, one that women can thrive in. And sometimes I feel that the perspective that I bring, um, you know, back to the seat at the table conversation is one that's not always otherwise considered. Um, you know, even just in my part of the organization and customer support, we were redesigning our website at one point, And I remember they showed some mock-ups and I looked and this is the same site where, uh, you know, grandmas could be coming to get help for their child or grandchild's, you know, Skylanders game or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or Snoopy's Adventure. And as soon as you come onto the support website, you're like staring down the barrel of a gun. And I'm like, well, you know, there are other games and there's other people that come to this site besides Call of Duty players. Um, so so you bring a whole it's different... Not something that they would have thought of. It was kind of the mom perspective. Right. The mom perspective. Yeah. The mom perspective is pretty key. It could be. Well, I think, I think that having a holistic, um, diverse perspective is important. And so filling in those missing parts is sometimes the, the answer. Do you have uh, any suggestions for young female gamers, or maybe not even gamers, but people who are interested in esports and gaming and would like to get involved? I mean, I think just keeping at it. I think, um, you know, the wonderful thing about gaming is it's kind of a level playing field. Um, nobody has a physical advantage in terms of strength or training or anything like that. Um, I actually liken it to my sons have both uh, sailed as their high school sport. And sailing is one of those wonderful high school sports where the women and the men or the girls and the boys um, compete alongside each other. There's not divisions in teams. You'll have, you know, mixed gender teams in the same boats. And I think gaming is much the same way, where it's a level playing field. Um, you know, it's really kind of gender neutral. And, you know, just hone up your skills and bring them to the table and, um, you know, in the game and in the career, right? <laughs> yes. Just bring it on every time. Right, right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.